Welcome to All India Sri Shivaji Memorial Society's Institute of Information Technology. I am Vikas Katak, Dhawan Assistant Professor from Department of Information Technology. You will see the different options, operations on number. So we know that the, when there is a number, so it is a numerical value. So you can perform different kind of the arithmetic operations on your number. So these arithmetic operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus. Okay, so these are the different arithmetic operations we can perform on number. And in that we already discussed in a last lecture that when you performing any arithmetic operation on integer numbers at that time you will get the integer as a result. Okay, but in case of a division, what is the result? result is the floating point number okay so here in python you will have two divisions one is called as a float division and next is called as the integer division okay so integer division is the double slash we have to use for the integer division and when you use the single slash it is called as a float division okay so what is the float division means guys let me know Okay. We get a floating point result. Yes, we are getting the result in a floating point number. So this is called as a float division. Okay, just a minute. I'll share my screen now. Now, all of you viewing my editor. So this is Python editor, Python prompt. Yes, good. Now, here, this is the Python prompt. So these three arrows indicates it is the Python prompt. So in this particular Python prompt, we can write any statements here. Okay. So like any statement or instruction. So this is one of the instruction is called as a print. So this particular print instruction, we can use for printing any message or any values to our screen. Okay. So hello, I'll, I want to know, uh, write that particular hello world. Okay, suppose if you have written hello world and want to print it on the screen, so you can directly write that particular message in a print statement. And when you hit enter here, so here you will get the output on your screen. Then we will see what is in my number. So number as of different types, either it is an integer, float, or long integer or complex kind of the numbers. And we'll just discuss that is what are different operations you are performing on number. So what are the operations? These are the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Yes. So such kind of the operations we can perform on numbers. So for example, when I'll write five plus two, so here I'll, I'll get the addition. When I will write 10 minus eight here, we'll get the subtraction. Okay. So likewise, we can perform any kind of the arithmetic operation on numbers okay so here suppose i'll write that particular 8 by 3 so it is a division operation i am performing on two numbers and these two numbers are the integer numbers so in previous examples also this 5 and 2 10 and 8 are the integer numbers and we'll obtain the integer value as a result yes 7 and 2 are the integer values now here 8 and 3 are also two integers and when you perform the division operation on these two numbers so here you will get the result in terms of a floating point number it is not a integer it is a float it is 2.66 something okay so he did that's why this particular division is called as a float division okay and what is meant by integer division integer division means this particular floating point value you are not obtaining. Okay, so for that we will have the different symbol. It is called as a double slash, and we will do this eight double slash three. So now tell me guys, what will be the result? Three maybe. Two. It is two. Here we will get the two because it is a integer division, division, and this single 
division is called as a floating point of a division. All of you getting? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, so these are the different operations we can perform on numbers. Okay. And there is a, another operator is called as a exponential operator. So this particular exponential operator is the double star. Okay, so what is double star? Suppose I'll use the single star to multiply by three. Exponential. It is called as a multiplication. Okay, when you use this particular single star, it is called as a multiplication operator. And here we'll get the two, three is a six. It is a multiplication. And when you will use this particular double star, so it is called as exponential. Exponential means it is the power. Okay, and we know that two to the power three is the eight. Okay, so like when we have to calculate the three to the power two, so at that time we know that three square is nine. So likewise. Okay, so this particular double star is called as an exponential operator. It is clear, guys? So these are the different operations we can perform on the numbers and these operations can be performed with the help of different operators. So these operators are the plus, that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. This division is of two types. One is called as a float division and next is called as a integer division. And this is the exponential. Okay. And after understanding these different operations on your numbers, so there is a, some rules for executing these particular operations. Okay, so for example, when you write 10 plus two multiply with three, so what is the result you are expecting? Six. What, what? It must be? 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. Yes, yes, very good guys. So why the result is 16? Because here we Sir, are- Sir, mass. Yes, board mass, or it is called as a, a precedence of operator. Precedence means priority. Okay, so here we are following the priorities of the operators. So in this particular calculations, we'll have the priority of multiplication operator first, and then we'll have the priority for the addition operator. Okay, so that's why the result is 16. Okay, if you are not following the priorities, then what will be the result now? It is 10 plus 2, 12. 12 multiplied by 3 is 36. Okay, so likewise. So here, why this particular 16? Because here we are following the priorities. We are not following the priorities. So these priorities are assigned by your computer or your interpreter. Okay, and these are the fix. Okay, so here multiplication is having the highest priority than the addition operator okay so we'll come to this particular priorities later on when we will discussing further more details of this particular programming language okay so here in this particular slide now all of you viewing this particular slide simple operation on number yes yes sir yes sir okay very good now here we all just discuss what are the different operations it is either addition subtraction, multiplication, this is called as a float division, okay, or some exponential or integer division. Now, here, what that particular uh, example is, it is 15 by zero. We know that in mathematics, division by zero is not possible, okay. So in computer also, we cannot divide any number by zero. So when you do, when you try to divide any number, by zero, so at that time you will get the error that is zero division error. Okay, so it is not valid in any prog any programming language that is division by zero. So you have to take care of this. We cannot divide any number by zero. Is this okay? Then we'll move to the next slide now. So we'll just see what is the exponential operator is. This is called as a double star, okay? Now, here we are going to be understand what is mean by question and a remainder, okay? So when you'll perform this particular 
integer division what is that particular double slash is called yes guys you, not, you will not get a, a floating the decimal or decimal yes. point result yes very good it will not obtain that particular floating part will have only this particular integral part so this is called as a integer division okay so here this 15 is the question what is the result we will have here question when you will do the simple division operation okay and when you will get the remainder when you perform this particular modulus operation okay so here you can also this double slash is called as a division and this percentage sign is called as a modulo operator so in our interpreter all of you being my interpreter now guys let me know yes sir yes, yes sir, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, very good, very good. So when when I'll write fifteen by two, so can I write like this? Fifteen by two. That is fifteen is divided by two. Can I write like this? No, sir. Syntax error. Why? No syntax error. Double slash. But we can use the double slash, na? In last example, yes, we have already this. We have discussed. We can use. Sir. Yes. So, what is that particular double slash is called? It is called as an integer division. Integer division means we'll get the we'll integer. Quotient. We'll get the. We'll get integral. Yes, we'll get the result as an integral number, and it, the result is quotient. Okay. So, what is the quotient in this particular case? Seven. 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 Yes. Very seven. Good. We'll get the seven as a result because it is a quotient. Okay. And what is the modulus operator? This particular operator percentage sign is called as a modulus operator. Okay. And what is the modulus operator gives us? What is the output? One. Remainder. One. Remainder. One. And, re and in this particular example, what is the remainder we will obtain? That is one. one. So here, this 15 by 2 gives us the result one. And this is the question. Okay. So this is the that particular slide explains what is meant by question and the remainder.